shaky old man so we can put it in there. I want you to wash your hands. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
go. Pecan Grove. Guys, we have been spent, uh, what is it now? Been five hours uh, running the grist mill, grinding the uh, the Danny corn this morning. Well, uh, Mr. Tim came over to watch the process being done, him and Miss Heidi, and they brought their Jimmy Red corn with them. And I had never ever ground Jimmy Red. So we waited to the end and we ran theirs through the mill while it was running. And guys, there is a total stark difference in what we're seeing here. Now, what we have here, this is the Danny corn right here. This is, uh, you know, just good cornmeal like it. See how my hand is not floury. Theirs, we ground. And guys, what we're noticing is the Jimmy Red has more flour content to it. It has a lot more flour content. I mean, the meal was not changed. And the, the color is different. Same settings, yes, mine has more of a yellowish tint to it. Theirs has a, what would you call it, a mauve? I mean, you can see the differences here. This is a, theirs has a pinkish red mauve looking t color to it. Mine has more of a whitish yellow look to it. So, uh, they're both a dent corn, but I do know that if you're more interested in a higher flower content, uh, I, I would definitely <clears throat> now suggest, you know, the, the Jimmy Red does have a, a much higher flower content than my Danny Corn does. Uh, we've had Mr. Chris has been here today. He's been, Chris has been the operator today. All day. All day. All He's day. been standing here at the grist mill. We have a bolt right here that's actually got a little bit of slack in it. And and when you, when you, you're supposed to be able to just set this. And the corn flow remains uh, the corn flow remains steady there. Well, because we got a little bit of slack here, this thing and the, the vibration of the mill it will move, and you'll either get too much corn going through or not enough. So, Mr. Chris has been generous enough to stand here today and monitor yep. all of this as it's been going through. And let your hand off, yeah. and it just pour the corn to it. Yep, it just now it grinds like crazy when it does. But what happens is the cub is only what eighteen or nineteen horsepower. And it's not strong enough to run a 24-inch grist mill full force. So what we have to do is, uh, Chris would sit here and he monitored it. He had it down to almost the number of seeds it was going through it uh, to keep the cub running at a really steady pace for the right amount of stuff to be pouring through here. Now that has been, you know, that has worked out. We found out it's a very, very fine amount Yes. It's it's like a hairline yes. difference. Even when I was setting the grist mill this morning, we learned that if I turned it just I mean just like just barely touch it. Touch it, uh, it would start stalling the cub down. So that's why I made the mention before I'm looking for a twelve inch uh wide belt pulley and a six inch one because I need to reduce this speed down so that this mill is turning slower so I can race my tractor up and get a higher RPM so it doesn't kill the tractor down and we can run corn 
do it a little bit faster than what we were going. It wouldn't have taken as long today, but we've kind of had to baby this thing all, all day long. long. Okay, Mr. Tim done some sifting right here, I noticed. Uh, this is, you can look, you can tell the difference if I can get out of light. This is the flower side. This is the grit side. You can see the difference when you sift it out, how much of a contrast in color there is there. That's amazing to have it like that. Now, we are about to all go and partake of a meal. Uh, Miss Cynthia has been here. Uh, y'all y'all have met Miss Cynthia before. Uh, she's from Farm 78, her and Mr. Dexter. Uh, they actually live up next to Wanda's children, uh, just north of us here. Mr. Miss Cynthia and them's good friends of ours. Uh, she's been here today. She wanted to be here and learn the process of using the old-fashioned grist mill and just witness it too, you know, to see how it does. And she's been dealing with some health issues, just like the rest of us have, the older we get. And she's looking for a, a better diet situation for her life, as well as the rest of us are doing the same thing. Mr. Tim's wife, Ms. Heidi, has the same type issues. She's looking for a more healthy lifestyle. We're trying to get away from the, uh, what would you call it, the more processed food systems that we have in the supermarkets and stuff, and go back to our, uh, to our open pollinated and heirloom type corns and feeds and stuff like that that we grow for ourselves and our animals so that we have a healthier lifestyle. So we're all enjoying that. And now we're about to go partake of one of the most natural things I think a person can, and that is, uh, I think Ms. Wanda has deer cooked today. And Ms. Ms. Heidi and Mr. Tim, uh, they brought some of their garden-raised stuff down here, the Louisiana Purple Pods, which I love them. You cook them, they turn green. I love them. I know it's just one of them things, you know. They also brought some of their sweet corn with them. Uh, Miss Wanda made cornbread from the Danny corn. I mean, guys, we're going to have an old-fashioned, just down-home meal today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen with the grist meal. I still want to thank Mr. Mickey and Ms. Kathy uh, for working with me with the grist mill uh, from Hills Mill Homestead. And now, before we go eat, we're going to take a blower right quick and we're going to blow this thing off and we're going to clean it up so we can't get it in good shape. Thank you guys from Pecan Grove. Deer roast with uh, canned carrots and potatoes that I had canned. Heidi's corn. What happened is she has these. Uh, kind of Heidi's beans, some eggs that Heidi raised. Look at this cornbread, y'all. Freshly ground. We just ground it like an hour, hour and a half ago and made our cornmeal.